Every married guy goes, yeah, that makes sense. They're going to pick the house out anyway. They're going to pick the house out when you're there together. Any guy ever override her and think, I hate this place. We're buying it. <laughs> Good luck with that one, pal. No, she picked it out. We know guys know we're going to get one room in the house. We're going to get one room. One room. That's it. You get one room, put up anything you want in that room. All my rock posters, all my crap goes up in the storage room. See, I love guys go like, they're like, I got a man cave. Got a man cave. That's a new thing. Man cave. That was like a wrong. dead my problem. And then I got big money. Right now, the first act will be coming off stage. <laughs> we go there, place with a lot of people there. There were performance, all sorts of different acts where there were singers and there were singer songwriter types and there was there were poets. I followed a poet. In fact, I followed a poet. The poet, his last line, because I have the tape still. On the tape, you can hear the poet's last line. He says, like the mango, we are ripe for the revolution. This was 1977. He was way behind on the revolution. That was over. But he was way ahead on mango. Nobody was talking about mango in 1977. He was a fruit visionary is what he was. I don't think I've ever heard the word mango before that. But it was, it was an eye-opener. That's what it was. 